we have a 2002 Chevrolet Avalanche. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, this Avalanche has to be the world's most practical vehicle. Because you got, you got a big Vortec V8, automatic transmission, rear-wheel drive in this model. Four-wheel drive was optional. Um, it's massive. It's a, a beast. You can pull anything. You can put anything in the back. The mid-gates are a really nice feature. Because you can haul, like, six people, maybe, like, 12 munchkins. And in the back, you close the mid-gate, you can pull, like, 30, maybe 40 badgers. And if you want you, if you want to, like, really party, you can drop the mid-gate and unleash the badgers into the into the cab here. That would be fun. Maybe a little maybe a little dangerous, but it'd be fun. Those badgers are cool. I'm, like, 5'11", and I got, like, like, six or seven feet of headroom. I mean, so if, like, if I was a conehead... I, I could probably still drive this car. It's big. It's really big. It's got a cool looking column shifter. Radio's nice. Big gauges. Very easy to read. I wear glasses, so my vision's not that great, and it's so I can read everything, which is nice. Um, you know, it's just cool. I mean, it's got like, you think about it, like this seat's a big bench seat here. Check this out. Bench seat. It's like two couches. If there's like TVs in this thing, it could be a living room. If you want to pick a car to live in, this is the way to do it. This is this is the way to go. It really is. You got like your, so you put like your two liters of Verners right there. And it's just it's just so so convenient, so practical. It's outrageous. People think the mid-gate's crap. No, it's not. It's not. You have the maneuverability of a five-foot bed, but the functionality of an eight-foot bed. It just doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. It really doesn't not get any better. Avalanches are cool, man. You think avalanches are dumb? You haven't owned one for 14 years. Avalanches are cool, man. Families have this one since new. I mean, the transmission's only blown up like three times. But, you know, other than that, it's got the original spark plugs in it, and it's got 161,000 miles on it. That's pretty good. Chevy reliability. It's quite warm in here. I shut the door so there wouldn't be a whole lot of wind noise. But it's, it's a little toasty now. A little sweaty. <sighs> my, my, my pass out. I'll see you guys next week. Don't diss on avalanches because they're cool. Go buy one. Really, really quite affordable for what you get. They run forever. Cladding. You think cladding's dumb? It's not dumb. It doesn't rust. But it helps. 161,000 miles later, it's it looks fine. A little faded, but it looks good. No rust. That's nice. It's really nice. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Captain Third Gen.